Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to show you how you can build a strawberry tower out of recycled, repurposed black plastic containers. You can use other containers, but these seem to be the easiest to cut. This is going to be three levels. Both of these containers are the same size. This is the bottom container. This pattern, one, two, three, four, and one on top is going to be for the runner, so that's not going to get plants put in them. You only want to cut holes in about 75%, 50% of the container. So, because the sun is only going to stay along this line. You could cut more, but the back side of the container is really going to get a lot of shade, so they're not going to grow as well. So this would be the bottom. In the bottom, you want to cut out a hole if you're going to keep your container in the same place. If you think you're going to move it around, um, I would just make sure the hole's not so big that the dirt falls out, but mine's going to stay in one place. The middle container, has eight holes cut in it. They'll get planted and that's going to sit just like that. I'm gonna fill these with 50% peat moss, 50% topsoil, and I'm gonna use organic fertilizer to take care of the feeding. And then the top container is smaller. That's so that I can plant around it and also more water can get in. And again, I think there's one, two, three, four, five. That's about 75 percent of the container the size of it have holes in it and again remember the back side's going to get sun and some of the containers are harder to cut so it's a lot easier to cut a square out with a pair of scissors or a knife i'm going to assemble this fill it and plant it and show you what it looks like i started filling and planting my container and one of the things that's that's really important is to know what the crown of your strawberry plants are they can't be buried the crown is the place right here this space is the crown of the strawberry plant and from there come new shoots and leaves. Sometimes people bury it too deep. If you bury the crown, the strawberry plant's probably going to die. So you have to make sure that's sticking out above the soil. And all you do is really find the crown, make sure that it's sticking out beyond the plastic container. This way the soil's just gonna sit on top of it and it'll be perfectly fine. And the way that you put them in there is just slide them in just like that. I'm doing every other planting hole because as these grow, they're gonna put out runners and then the runners I'm going to pin into these spaces. Down here, these are all for runners. They're not gonna get plants. And then up top, I'll have more plants and I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, just real quick, as I mix in the topsoil, 50% top, 50% peat moss, I'm also mixing in the fertilizer at different levels. Just don't overdo it and you're gonna to have to follow the instructions on whatever fertilizer you're using and kinda of figure out the plan from there. Here's the completed strawberry tower. The north side is over here, and I, you can see how I aligned the containers more towards the back. That's just not gonna get enough sun. So you're keeping the holes all cut towards the front. And pretty much three levels. The most important thing is to make sure your top level, you don't have any holes up here because the water will come in and just pour out. You want the water to be able to sink in. So keep these holes down lower. And same thing, middle container, there's a nice room here to hold the water. Here's a mistake I made. I thought, I don't know why, I thought at the bottom I could cut a hole out here to put a runner into that, but too much water drained out. So I just put a uh, piece of plastic that I cut from the bottom right there. But you wanna keep the holes somewhere in the middle just so that the rim holds the soil in and the water in. If not, you could see all your soil just get poured out these holes. You can also plant all the holes if you want. If you have enough strawberries, go ahead and do that. But this is 12 plants in here on a three-tier strawberry tower made from recycled plastic. The total cost for the project, I think it was maybe eight bucks for the strawberry plants, uh, $3 in soil, maybe a buck or two in in um, peat moss. So it's really, really inexpensive and this should last um, year to year here in Maryland Zone 7. The strawberries will keep coming back. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.